So the brands that don't leverage culture essentially decide to focus on products, decide to focus on a transactional uh, exchange with consumers. And that's well and good, especially if you have the best product, right? If your razor is sharper, people are more inclined to go to you. The challenge is that if someone has a sharper razor than you, then you're in trouble. And here's sort of the gut punch of all of it, is that most products in the minds of consumers are parity, right? There isn't great difference. There's shades of difference from one or the other, which means that people are constantly going after who has the best product in the market, and it's really hard to tell who's best. And what happens is that you find yourself in a precarious situation because a brand could have an inferior or parity product, but still outperform you because it means something to people. And this is what drives behavior, what we feel, what we think. Right? It's biologically, it's what drives us to, to move. And if our products are typically, or, or if our marketing communications is typically focused on the rational benefits of the brand, then we're always going to be outperformed by people who appeal to the, the evocative, who appeal to the cognitions that are associated with what we feel and ultimately what we do.